We could continue on from where we left off on the last lab. I just had to restart the devices. I don't know, they stopped and I had to reinstall the IP address, which I've given the same and restart the DHCP server, which we could see here. And also I jumped across onto our firewall. I've checked that the IP address is the same. I haven't checked that the NTP has synchronized. So let's do that again, show NTP status. It's currently unsynchronized, but it will synchronize. So this next part is going to be SNMP. Now, SNMP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol, and it's used for like monitoring and gathering information about connected network devices. It uses UDP ports 161 and 162, and there are currently three flavors of SNMP. Now, you've got SNMP version one, which was the original implementation of SNMP, which provides authentication based on a community string, which is a password. But this password is sent by a clear text, meaning it isn't encrypted, which therefore means it isn't secure. Then you've got SNMP version two, which is often referred to as SNMP version 2C, which was a much improved version of SNMP used to support more efficient error handling and performance. But both SNMP 1 and SNMP version 2 use simple authentication using community strings. Then we move on to the big boy, which is SNMP version 3. This version improves security and privacy by having the ability to send encrypted messages and also defining what a particular user can view and have access to. But this does mean that SNMP version 3 is a bit more difficult to configure. But that's the one that we're going to be using because we're using an ASA, which is a security device. And we want to have both privacy in our authentication and we also want encrypted messages. So let's have a look at our topology again. The same topology, as I said, we're only going to be doing the CLI portion this first half, but we'll move on to ASDM a bit later on. And let me just jump onto the firewall. I just want to see if the NTP did actually come up. Yeah, it is now synchronized, so everything is all right. And now I'm going to move on to the SNMP configuration. Now, you would usually have an NMS, which is like a network management system. That could be Cisco Prime, but that only deals with Cisco devices. Then you have the famous one, which is SolarWinds. PTRG is another one. There's like open source ones like The Dude or Observium. But we're not going to actually implement an NMS, but we're going to do verification that our SNMP version 3 is working by using SNMP walk. But to do that, I need to install SNMP and the SNMP daemon on Linux. So let's do that now. If I say apt install SNMP and also SNMP D, yes, always we want to install. All right, that looks good. And now let's see if our SNMP daemon is up and running. So if I system CTL status for SNMP D and it is running. Excellent. All right. So the next part is to actually change the agent address in the SNMP D config file. So if I, um, I think what I can do, if I do nano from here and it's going to be in SNMP, then then and then snmpd.config. So if I say nano etsy, snmp, and also snmpd.conf. And the reason that I'm doing this, I have to create a user. I'll create a user called Ibrahim, and I have to also specify the encryption, sorry, the authentication type, which is SHA. I'll probably use SHA. And then it will be followed by a password. And then we're also going to be using the encryption which requires a privacy protocol. And that privacy protocol is going to be AES. I think for authentication, you could use MD5 or SHA, and for privacy, you could use like DES or 3DES, but I'll be using AES. So, and I just, in this file, I just need to create a user and also, am I in the right place? Etsy, SNMP, snmp.conf. No, I don't want snmp.conf, so let me get out of that. Just say no. I want snmpd.conf. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. And what I need to do, if I can remember correctly, and let me just scroll down and have a look. I remember that we had like a 161 that I needed to comment out. 
All right, let me go right back up to the top. Ah, right, here we go. This is what it is. So I'm gonna come out out the local host agent address here, and then delete this one. I'm also going to create a user called Ibrahim. We're going to use our authentication of SHA. I'm just going to use a simple password and a privacy protocol of AES with the same password. And this user is going to have read write access. All right, let's save that. Control X, yes, and enter. And then we're going to restart the process. So if I just say system, CTL restart SNMPD and look at the status of it. All right. Guys, I have a request from you. If you're enjoying the free content, I'm looking to increase my subscriber count to 4,000 subscribers by June. But I can only do that if you give me the play special. Do you want to know what the play special is? Press like and yeah, subscribe. Okay, back to the video. So I think that's all that we need for SNMP configuration. And we're going to test out the Cisco ASA configuration with SNMP Walk. But what is SNMP Walk? It's like a CLI application for SNMP used to query a network device for information. So there are some particular commands that you have to use, but let me do the configuration on the ASA first. So if we jump onto our ASA here, exit out of that and I show and I do SNMP server group of admin it's going to be using version 3 with a privacy protocol now I say SNMP server user is going to be Ibrahim who belongs to the admin group they're going to use an authentication we're going to be using version 3 for SNMP, SNMP version 3, an authentication protocol. Now let's have a look which ones we've got. You could use MD5 or SHA. I'll be using SHA with that password, a super encrypted password, core password. And we're going to be using a privacy protocol of, and the three are, three days AES or DES. I'll be using AES. And we're going to be using the 128 bit algorithm and our passphrase which is password and then which interface are we going to be using and what's the snmp server address so snmp server host out of the management interface and its address is 172.16.0.10 version 3 and who can access it? and we've got a host of Ibrahim. That is it for the configuration on the ASA. Let's do a test of our configuration. Let's just verify that. So if I was to say, not SNMP, let me say, show SNMP server host. So our host is 172.16.0.10, going out of the management interface and using version three, version three and the user of Ibrahim. Let's also look at the, our OIDs. And these are all of our objects. So an OID is an object identifier. And these are all of the objects on the actual system. So we could like to see system time or the interface number, the interface description, what type of interface. There's loads of them and literally loads. If I just press space, you see that there's loads on this actual box. And all of these can be monitored through SNMP. So you can find out the system time, how long it's been up, the uh, description of an interface, and what type of interface is. And I'm going to put a list of the ones that I'm going to be using here. But the way it's going to run is if I'm going to test it, if I jump back onto our Linux box and I say SNMP walk, this is to test it. Minus V3, that's going to say it's going to be used in version three. Minus L, now this sets the security level. Is it going to be no authorization and no privacy? Or we're we just going to have authorization and no privacy? Or we're we going to have authorization and privacy? We're going for that last one, authorization and privacy. Then we're going to say, who's the user? So we know that's Ibrahim. 
What's the authentication? Well, we say minus A and the authentication is sharp. And what's the password for that authentication? Well, that's password. What about your privacy? Our privacy protocol is AES. And what's the password for that privacy? And that is also the same. And what's the server address? Um, not the server address, the client that you want to monitor. Well, it had an IP address of 172.16.0.1. Now we could actually pick out one of the OIDs if we wanted to monitor just one of these. So let's just pick one, let's say system time. Now let's just watch all of them actually. Press enter. And that's it. If you get this massive output and showing all of your object IDs, that means that your SNMP configuration has worked. And as I said, you can just do it on particular OID. But if you get all of this, that means your, your device is actually talking to your Linux box. Now, if you set up your NMS server and find out that it isn't working, it's probably something to do with like your... AES algorithm, maybe your NMS server is using like 192 or 256 and you've got 128 running on your ASA. But I've found that don't go higher than 128 on the ASA because we were using Observium, um, SolarWinds do, then it, it, we come up with problems. As soon as we set the AES algorithm to 128 on the ASA, everything seemed to work. All right, that's it for SNMP. I'll see you in the next video.